Hey there, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. And today we are deleting Waves plugin. So whether you're looking to delete all of them or just remove certain ones from your plugin list, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I have my recording software of choice pulled up. I use Studio One and you can see my Waves plugins folder here and that list is quite long, a lot longer than I would like for it to be. So anyways, we're gonna clear a lot of this out. So the first thing we're gonna do before we start deleting plugins is we need to close our recording software if you haven't already. All right, so now that we have that closed, I have a web page pulled up. It is from the waves.com website, and you can see it is how to uninstall Waves products. I will leave a link in the description down below so that you can click that and get the latest version in case they update anything after this video. But um, you can see that they show you how to uninstall um, from Waves Central. And uh, if you do that though, they have some notes here about you can only delete full versions of plugins. So all of your V14s or all of your V12s, you can't do individual plugins through Wave Central, but I'll show you that here in just a moment. Also, if you want to uninstall individual ones, they have info on that. They have it both Windows and Mac. I'm on Mac, so I'll be showing you that, but it's very similar on Windows. Then they just show you the little differences there. And they have some notes about that as well. Just some little caveats, not a big deal. All right, so let's jump on over to Wave Central. So um, on the Mac, it's in your Applications folder, and then you open up Wave Central, which takes a second. All right, so once your Wave Central pulls up, you're probably gonna see a screen that looks a lot like this. I don't have the subscription plan. I just have individual plugins. Most of mine are pretty old. Um, but this is a screen you'll see. This is where you can install and update and all that kind of stuff, but you cannot delete from this page. So the way you delete is you actually come down to the settings down here and you'll see under maintenance, there's uninstall. And then you can pick the versions you want. If you want to uninstall all of them, then you just you know pick each one of those, then click uninstall. It'll take a few seconds. It does some probably talking to the network and all that kind of stuff but it does uninstall them. When I did this originally, I had some 9, 10, and 11 version plugins that I didn't need, and so I got rid of those, and I used this method for doing that. Now, if you're not looking to delete all of your plugins, but you're not sure which versions you might wanna keep or whatever, um, the way you check that is you just come back here to your finder. Instead of Wave Central, we're gonna open up this Waves folder. On PC, they have the file path to that on that uh, web page I shared earlier. So you can check that. But on Mac, we're gonna open up this Waves folder here and you can see uh, like right now, I have the plugins for V12, plugins for V13 and 14. You can just double click into those and you can see which version of plugins you have. So those are all my V12s. If I go to V13, those are the couple of 13s I have and etc. And that's what I did for my nine, 10 and 11 uh, plugins. I just clicked in those, verified. They're just leftover demo stuff and everything from forever ago. So. I went into Wave Central, deleted those, and then it left a couple of extra little files here, and I just copied those to the trash and deleted. Those are gone, so not a big deal there. So that's the quick rundown on how you just delete everything if you want to, or just delete full versions and stuff like that. But what if you want to just delete individual plugins? So if you're looking to only have certain plugins in your list, technically you could like just delete the full version, in my case, all of my 12s or whatever, and then just re-download only the ones that you want. Now the problem with that is that some of them only come in bundles, right? So if you like look at my gold bundle here, I can't just download the individual plugins with the gold bundle because some of those I don't want anymore. So I can only download the whole gold plugin bundle that doesn't really help me out. So what we do is we come back to our Waves plugins folders here that we were just looking at. And there's a couple ways you can do this. One, you can come in here and you can just right click and move to trash or just drag it to trash and delete and it's gone, right? It's kind of that simple. Um, the other way, which I prefer, is that I made a new folder here to hold all these unused plugins. When I created this new folder, I called it unused plugins V12 only because Waves had created this one for my V14s and that's the naming convention they use, so I just followed that. I think you can call it anything you want, but I just followed their convention. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to 
um, open up these this V12 folder and another tab right here, right? And then I'm just going to click on the ones that I know I want to be gone. And then I'm gonna drag and drop those over here. Now I'm not gonna bore you with watching me do each individual one, but I will show you that I have made a list and I'm gonna go through that and I'm going to move the ones that are marked remove on my list over to this folder. All right, so now I've gone through all those and you can see these are the plugins that I'm going to remove. Again, some of these are in that gold bundle that you can only download the whole bundle, but this allows me to remove individual plugins within the gold bundle, but keep some of them also. So this is a very handy way of doing this. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out this unused. You can see here's the ones I have left. And uh, so there they go there. And then I'm going to close out my Wave Central as well because I don't need that. Now the next thing we need to do if we look on this page right here is um, we need to clear our Waves preferences. So again, we're on a Mac. So the way we're going to do that on the Mac is we go up here to the go. And if I hit option, you can see it reveals this uh, library right there. Let go. It's gone. Click it again. There you go. Library. We're going to click into there and we're going to go to preferences. So I'm just going to hit P on my keyboard to find the P's here. And there's our preferences folder. Click on that. And here's our waves preferences folder right here. And we are going to delete that. So I'm just going to right click and move to trash. And then I'm going to empty my trash. So this step of deleting the preferences folder, you're going to want to do that, whether you just move those individual plugins to an unused folder like I just did, or you delete those individual plugins. Either way, you're going to want to delete that preferences folder as well. Now that that's gone, let's go back to our recording software. I'm going to open up Studio One. All right, now I've got my project open back up in Studio One, and we're going to go to the effects and we're going to go to that waves folder. And if I open this, you're going to notice um, that those plugins that I just deleted are still in my list, which obviously is not what we want. Now, this is where it's going to differ a little bit depending on your recording software and all that kind of stuff. But in Studio One, um, we need to actually refresh our plugin list. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this home button right here for our all of our plugins and all that kind of stuff. We're going to go down to plugin manager. And this is where you can do all kinds of really cool stuff with your plugin list and organize and all that kind of stuff. But all we're going to do is we're going to click this button right here. This is update plugin list and um, it says your list will be updated next time you start Studio One. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and restart Studio One. All right, now we're all restarted. I'm back in my project. And again, we're going to go to the effects tab here and we're going to check out this waste plugin list. And you're going to notice that those are gone. So that's what we need to do in Studio One. Refresh that plugin list. If you're using Pro Tools or uh, Logic or something, you may have to do something else to refresh that. Those are softwares I don't use, so I can't really tell you, but I'm sure a quick Google search will tell you how to do that. All right, so that's how we delete all the Waves plugins or just individual ones. So hopefully that's easy for you to follow along with. If you have questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Also check out that description for the link to the Waves uh, support page there. And then also I got some other cool stuff you might want to check out down there about home recording, guitar, songwriting, all that jazz. So check that out down below. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.